we're going to look at understanding models. Inside XSI we have here three objects, we have a light and a camera, inside the scene root. And the scene root is represented by this little character. This character is in fact a type of model. A model can be considered something like a little mini scene. And we can create a model by going into model, model, new model. I'm going to call this sphere. So now underneath the sphere model null lives the actual sphere object. This can be any name at all, doesn't matter. If I were to start keyframing, this keyframing lives underneath the object's kinematic properties, here the position. When I store the animation, I'm going to just call it up. The animation now lives directly underneath the spheres model here in the mixer. The model is really designed to be able to import and export uh, objects, characters and complete setups. In addition, they're related to the animation mixer. So now as you can see, the sphere name here is represented by the model. If I were to select the cube and make it a model, and I'll call it QB, whatever. Now when I update this mixer, you notice the mixer has a name QB. So the animation, any animation, will be related into this mixer. It's a good way of breaking down particularly things like characters from their heads and their bodies to separate the type of animation. If I were to update this mixer, or in fact if I insert the source, the up motion, there we now can see the motion here. If I were to update the mixer of the cube, you can see here it has a mixer but only tracks, what I can do is drag and drop the source animation from the sphere and drag it on, drop it onto the cube. And now XSI deals with names and names inside models. So here, if I want to pass the animation data based on the names, I would have to replace the word sphere by the word cube. If I were to say make it cube2 and I validate this, it goes red because it cannot find cube2 as a name. If I go cube and validate, or sorry replace, validate, we can, if it goes black we know it's valid. And I'm going to connect. So now the cube also has the sphere's animation. It had to be bypassed through a template inside here and that template was really just mapping one name to the other. Here if I take the cylinder and make it a model, I'm just going to keep it, call it model, doesn't matter. I'm going to select the cylinder and call this sphere. Having models allows us to have different objects inside the same scene with exactly the same name. And therefore if I insert the source, I can insert the sphere's source animation called up and automatically it will inherit the animation with no template because it's already called sphere. Using models to separate components of the characters or any of your rigs and setups helps to pass data more easily and also helps to export and import data more easily. Having models underneath models underneath models just to act as a null is not a good idea. It serves no additional purpose because the animation is now buried in three different places. So be careful when creating models, use it as a mini scene or use it as the character's part as the animation mixer controller, such as facial animation or hand animation.